Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, and today I've got for you this really large four bedroom, two bathroom, living room, den, pantry. You know, it's got just about everything. This has got a really large guest bathroom. So we've got this really nice brickwork around the front door. Now this one is a little on the close side to the other one. So we will have to make do with what we can here. This is gonna be at Republic Homes here in Tyler, Texas. So we can step back here and kind of take a better look at the, the whole front of the home here. I don't remember the square footage offhand in and they're getting me a floor plan, but I got to it before I was able to get one printed out. So, sorry I don't have the square footage for you right off the top of my head. And I can't remember the model of the home either. <laughs> but I wanted to come around to the back here and show you. We've got our water faucet. We've got our electrical panel. Back door right off the utility room. And then our sliding door off the uh, dining room. Both these arched windows, one of them is on the kitchen. That one's above the bathtub in your main bedroom. So not a lot to show on the end here, so we're gonna finish going back around. And while we're doing that, if I can get you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, then we can come around and head in. One last better look at it before we head in. Since there's no power on in the home, we're going to be doing this by the light that I usually bring with me. I remembered it this time. <laughs> Not that it does much good in the living room, but definitely in the darker spaces with no windows, it'll help a lot. Now the way this one's set up, the dining room is kind of off to the left from where we're standing. So we're going to do the kitchen and then we'll get the dining room. And this is a very, very long island. Of course we have drawers over doors. Soft close. You have adjustable shelves. And I'm not sure what material this backsplash is made out of because it doesn't feel like ceramic. But it definitely is a tile of some sort. Guess we'll open one of these glass ones too. So 
So we have the LG stainless steel appliance package. The Stonecrest hood. There was an electrical outlet at the other end of the island also. And then we've got our pantry. Now we've got lots of linen closets in this hall. <laughs> Down this hallway there are two linen closets. This would be our dining area with the buffet counter. Don't usually get a chance to get up close to them. There's usually a table underneath them. There's that sliding glass door. Then into our utility room, there's the back door that was right next to the sliding door on the outside. Yes, the cover for the furnace is off. We have a sink. There's your washer and dryer hookups. Your water is shut off. And we're going to do the bathroom and then we're going to come out and get the, get the rest of the bedrooms. Well, I should say start on the bedrooms. So we had to come back down the hallway a little bit to start the bedrooms. So this was up by the living room area in the dining room as you can see. Now right here is the first of the linen closets. Now since the pantry wasn't really all that big, you could technically use this as a pantry too if you needed to. Look back this way a ways. And then you could use this one as your linen closet.
And as we come back down the hallway, there was the bathroom we came out of. So here's the third guest bedroom. This one's a little bit different in the layout of the bedroom with that little nook over there. It really makes it feel way big. Might be like a perfect spot to set up a desk for the kid. So this is going to be your family room. Not sure if I pointed out, we have the arches right at the end of the hallway and right at the other end of the hallway there. And into the main bedroom. We'll do the closet here, then we'll go in that door and go into the bathroom and finish her up. Water heater access is right there in the corner. Now this rack is just tall enough that I can fit underneath it. I can feel it brushing the hair as I go underneath it. Frosted glass that does open. We have a transom window up above, but it does not look like it opens. The dual square sinks. Hello, Raiden. Now, recessed lights up above. Then the tile shower. Now, we don't have a wand in here, but we have a regular shower head and then the rainmaker. And then a small bench at the bottom. But hopefully y'all can step on down and leave me some kind of comment on the home 
whether it be a small comment or a large comment, doesn't matter. Let me know what you think of the home. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, share this video with all your friends, family, wherever, whoever else you may or may not know. And I'll be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. All right, so what did y'all think of the Prime? Yeah, we're coming from Raiden's bedroom. <laughs> his mom and his sister are downstairs uh, doing some stuff because she comes over and uses my kitchen once in a while because I got better oven and stuff, and she does her meal prep stuff. So anyway, before we get to price information, we uh, want to remind you that uh, videos come out on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're actually doing this on Tuesday night because Wednesday, Raiden and I here are going to be stopping off in Rathrum, Idaho, filming a two-story home. Yeah. And then we're going to go get the Sequoia at Homeboys that are in Spokane. Yeah. And then we got some more stuff we're going to go film over in Pasco, Washington. So we got a pretty good trip ahead of us for a couple Yay! days. Yay! <laughs> He'd been wanting to go with me for a while, and since there's no school for the next three days, why not? Now we got to get some price information on this home. Now, one of the big options I did see on this one was the fireplace. That one can be stuck in the corner over there in the den area. He's over here playing Minecraft. Yeah. I don't even know if I can show it. There you go. So he's playing Minecraft. Yeah, I'm I also was messing around with the glass and I accidentally made a glitch. Pricing information on this one. Now I filmed this at uh, Republic Homes in Tyler, Texas. And this one, uh, at the time that I filmed it, so they had this listed for about $150,000 at the time of filming. Hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out this one over here or what they're recommending over here. And uh, if you want, buy me a coffee and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.